Hey guys, so I just finished filming a tutorial for the look that I have right now. Um, not my cheeks, my eyes though. Um, this is called a cut crease. Um, I did it, if you recall, or if you've watched any of my other videos, my Valentine's Day video, a lot of people requested the eyeshadow look, and I guess I finally got around to doing it. It's not the exact same products that I used then, because that was like half a year ago, and I do not recall exactly what I used, but um, it's the same look. Like, it's the same. I did the cut crease, um, and the same general colors. So, yeah, so if you like that one and you requested it, or if you just wanted to learn how to do this gorgeous eye look, that's right, it's gorgeous, um, then keep watching, um, if not, just turn it off, just turn, just turn this off right now, just turn it off, you don't want to see it, okay, okay, cool. The first thing I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion, I'm just going to put that on both eyes, um, all over the eyelid and a little bit underneath. I put on the eyeshadow primer and basically, sorry, you should definitely use your ring finger for this for your eyelid. Um, I'm just going to rub it in everywhere. I'm going to use the matte white color because um, I really just want it to be white. And I'm going to put that on my eyelid, kind of pack it on. Um, and I'm not going to bring it all the way up, like all the way up, but I'm going to bring it up to where my crease would be so that there's something light to blend with when we add the crease and down into the little corner right here um, because that's going to make your eyes look really awake do the same to the other eye next color I'm going to take is um, from the Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going to take a little bit of the color naked. I'm just using this to add a teeny bit of depth so I don't want it to be so dark. Tap off the excess because there's always a ton of excess and I'm literally just gonna put it like into the crease of my eye. I don't know if you'll even see a difference in color at all. I'm just blending that into the crease like that and then in a little bit right here at the outer corner. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and do the actual cut crease part, um, which I'm going to use a black color for. I'm taking my pencil brush, which is only a half pencil brush, if you can see that, it's broken. Um, I'm just going to very lightly tap it into the black color. I'm going to tap off the excess because you definitely don't want too much of this. You want to work in very little increments so that it doesn't start to look really crazy really quickly. Um, and very lightly, I'm going to go right into the crease. Just like this. And just literally follow the crease. And I'm going to go in almost all the way. Like that. And then... I'm going to bring it in the corner right here, just like that, so there's a little V shape, okay, and do that, and then I'm going to wipe off any excess, I don't like a little tissue I have down here, because um, I don't want any more color, but now I want to blend, I just want to blend it out, so literally just keep going over, back and forth, blending it out. I don't want the color to travel too much to any other places. I just want to blend it out so that it's not like super, super harsh right there. Okay. And I don't have a blending brush. If you have a blending brush, that would probably work even better. Um, I don't though. So I'm just using the same brush with no eyeshadow on it. Um, and you can, you can smudge the edges of it a little bit, but you don't want to go all the way down onto the eye because that would, you would lose the effect of the cut crease. Uh, 
I'm literally just following the line of the crease of my eye. Like, it's kind of like if you just, like, stick the brush into your eye socket like that. Not, like, very hard, but just like that. And just follow along your eye socket, really. With my eyes, <laughs> my eye sockets are, like, really deep in, so you can't really see it. So sometimes... If I don't blend up enough, I'll add a teeny bit more, like right up there, like a little bit above my crease, just because otherwise it doesn't really show. And once again, blend a lot. So now that you have your cut crease done, um, I'm going to take the same pencil brush but I've wiped it off a lot to get all the excess um, darkness off of it and I'm going to do two different things with this pencil brush. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Naked palette and instead of using the lightest one that we used before I'm going to use Buck. Um, just kind of swirl the brush around in there a little bit, tap off the excess and that's what I'm going to use right underneath the outer corner of my eye because I want some darkness but not as dark as what I used in the crease. And the, next, the last thing I'm going to do with this little uh, brush, after I wipe it off very well, of course if you have extra brushes I would say do that instead, um, but I'm going to take it and I'm going to go back to the little Smashbox palette that I had and not the matte white but like the shimmery peach color. I'm going to take that teeny bit of it and put it on the inner corners just to really make them pop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Normally I'd be putting on a waterproof mascara um, because I think it holds the curl better. But since I'm probably going to wash this all off in like a second when I'm done with this to make dinner and shower, um, I'm not going to use waterproof mascara because it'll just irritate my eyes to take off all that makeup. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Um, and I like to go thick with the mascara on the bottom, um, but that's just a personal thing. Some people don't like clumpy mascara. Um, I do. So um, that's not to say every mascara I use is clumpy, but I kind of layer it on so that it will be. And now, because I literally cannot ever not wear eyeliner, like I think it might be an illness, um, I'm just going to take a liquid liner and do a quick uh, winged out eyeliner. And then connect it up on the inner corners, just like I'm going to use the brown side of my black and brown Urban Decay 24-7 uh, eyeliner. You can really use any eyeliner though that you like. I'm just going to line the inside rim only halfway in though. Only halfway in from the outer corner. And if you want you could also add a little bit on the eye lid right underneath. Just like that. Just to add a little bit more definition to your eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'll give you some close-ups right now. I feel like I wish I knew how to edit videos. So, you know like at the end of some Guru's videos, they do the whole like slow motion sexy music type thing where it like shows them and they're all like, here's my sexy ass in slow motion. And they're all, like, licking their lips and kissing and stuff. Um, so I don't know how to do that with my, with my video editor. So I'm just going to 
Let's do it right now. Ready? Go. No, I tried to go so I couldn't. My eyes blink in fast motion because they're real. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, that was weird. Um, if you have any questions on products, I'll try and list products, but as I've said before, it doesn't really matter what specifically you're using. It was just like a general color palette technique type thing. So, but if you really want to know, I guess you can ask me. Um, rate, comment, request, subscribe, and I'll see you guys around YouTube. Bye!